you know, back when I was in Boy Scouts, one of the rules the Scoutmaster made was that every new Scout had to make his own commando belt. And the new Scouts would get paired off with one of the older Scouts to show them how. He always felt that it built character and it gave them a first project and it gave them some time to check out their knife skills. Of course, I don't think he ever said it gave them time to check out the knife skills, but it did. So, to make a commando belt, you need three things. You need a manila or hemp rope, just a twisted natural fiber rope. The rope should be long enough to go around your waist three times plus 18 inches. So you go around your waist three times and then you add 18 inches to that. And the reason for that will become apparent when we start doing this. Second thing you're gonna need is a stick. Your finished piece when done carving is a little over an inch in diameter and about four to five inches long. So any stick big enough will work. It should be a harder wood. When I was in Scouts, we had Scouts that would go and find pecan or hickory or they'd go looking for a specific type of tree that they wanted to make this piece from. This piece is the toggle for it. We had some Scouts that would go to specialty wood shops and buy a piece of mahogany or a piece, well one kid bought zebra wood because he loved zebras and when he found out zebra wood was something that actually existed, he went and bought him some. So we're going to start this, we're going to start by carving a toggle out of this. Again, finished product should be about an inch in diameter, a little more and four to five inches long. I actually went out into the woods just a minute ago and found a fallen tree branch that was about the right size. And I haven't taken, I'm just now taking the bark off of it, so we'll see what it looks like underneath. Definitely a hardwood. This whole project really just takes a pocket knife and time. You know, when I was watching, uh, oh, one of those Star Wars cartoons with the grandkid. In the cartoon, one of the things that the young Padawans had to do to become a Jedi was to make their lightsaber. In a way, when I was in Boy Scouts, this was kind of the same thing. Once someone graduated from Weevilos to regular Boy Scouts and moved over to the troop, this was one of the first things they'd do. What I'm doing is scoring a point that I'm going to call the end. I'm going to cut down to that score. And I'm going to come down five, six inches and score the next point. This will be the other end of the toggle. After I have scored and worked in both ends to mark my end points for this toggle, what I will do is start carving down to a point towards those, towards this area that I'm cutting out. When it gets small enough, I'll break it off with a bigger piece and then round it over with the pocket knife. I have gone around this piece. I've already cut this side off. I've gone around this piece and carved into the notch, the line that I made, getting it thinner and thinner as I work my way around. If you can see that or yeah you should be able to now i got it to this point i should be able to just snap it off 
this extra piece. Now all I need to do is go ahead and round that off and clean that up a bit. And then uh, we'll worry about the rest of the toggle and we can start on the rope. When my Scoutmaster first uh, had us do these, he told us they were commando belts. Honestly, I just assumed it was another story. He liked to tell stories and not all of them were true. But when I was looking online, I didn't find a whole lot about these. At least not on YouTube. However, what I did find was that yes, the US military commandos during World War II, so we're talking 1940s, made these and carried them. And they did so because of the uses for them when you have a group of people. A lot of uses singular, but there's a lot more uses when you got a whole group of people with these. Get a little tongue oil on that and it'll look real good. Um, Looking for middle. Pretty even close. All right. So let's mark this middle. And again, I'm pushing down and rolling this on the knife, which is giving me a mark. I want to put a channel pretty much around the middle of this. And the channel doesn't have to be perfect. I just need it a little bit lower than the wood itself. There it is. A little channel cut in the middle. Just a standard toggle. Now that we have our toggle done, we're going to take one end of this rope. And you are going to untwist about six inches of it, or so. We're going to put that toggle right there in the middle. We're going to come down one twist and open that rope up that first piece through so that we have a loop. And that will let me pull this tight. That's the initial. Now what we're doing is we're untwisting the rope and braiding this back into itself. that toggle lashed in like that you're gonna run this around your waist okay. now that I've got this loop marked where I need it to be we can untwist this cord back to about here. Okay. Open up these and run these through. 
through here. There's one. There's two. There's three. And once we've run them through there, I'm going to pull all that down tight. We'll open the next group. And we'll do one. Two. Now, that's braided together. I'll give you a better look. So all I've done is opened up this twist, like this, into three, and then taken the three strands and braided them through there. So it's all together. Now, If I wrap this around my waist, and if I've done it right, it should loop just like that. And yeah, it's intended to be loose. It's not designed to hold your pants up. So it's a little loose. What's the point of this? Well, this right here is about 13 feet of rope, which you can easily wear around your waist. You will also note that the toggle fits through the eye that you braided. And that is a solid connection. I could actually hang from it. In the military, when the commandos used these, what, what they would do is each person wore one, so no one person carried a large hank of rope. When they got to a point where they needed more than the 15 feet, or 13 feet, whatever it happened to be, they would link their ropes together using that toggle. That would give them longer ropes that they could climb, and that toggle doesn't come loose. It's there. When I was in Boy Scouts, we used these for all kinds of things. Missing a rope for your tent post? You got one. Um, need to hang a pot over a fire? You build a tripod? You got a toggle? You got a loop. The list actually goes on. We found a lot of uses. Uh, wrap it around a tree a few times, run the toggle through the loop to tight bite down onto the tree, run the top of your backpack, run the loop at the top of your backpack through the toggle and hang it. So these had a lot of uses and I figured I would make one and show you how they were made and then probably put it to good use on some upcoming episodes. It's a fun little project. It only takes a couple hours to make one. Um, I could probably go back and do a little bit better job of braiding on this one. So I know when I was in Boy Scouts, the very first one I made, the braiding looked horrid. But I went back and made a second one and the braiding turned out more like it did on this loop where the braiding looks better. And to show you the difference, there's the braiding that I did on the loop. And there's the braiding that I did on the toggle. Loop, loop, loop braiding looks better. The toggle braiding was the first one. It's been a few years. So, for something simple and easy and something you can carry with you, something you just wrap around your waist and take with you. If you make a backpack frame out of branches in order to make a, a simple backpack, there is enough rope in this to go around your backpack, make your shoulder straps, and wrap it around your waist. And if you do it right, that toggle becomes the lock at your waist. Just an idea. So really, million and one uses. Easy to make, great to have around. And it's really good for kids because it teaches them a lot about carving with a pocket knife. 
and it teaches them some of the different cuts when carving with a pocket knife. It also gives them something to play with or to hang themselves with, whichever comes first. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and if you're not a subscriber why don't you pick one of these videos over here take a look at them if you like what you see click that subscribe button down below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you would leave me a comment tell me what you thought